Good day, good day. Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Tano. <laughs> how the hunk are ya? That's right. How the hunk are ya? <laughs> Roverland, the channel that's all about it. Anything and everything Land Rovers welcomes you. I got this little bugger right here. Take a look at this guy. If we can focus, come on, let's focus here, folks. Let's focus. <laughs> For some reason, we're not focusing. We are like the we like that placard in the back. All right, this is the one of that I got of this bugger. So it's a one of Wednesday, but it's also a dinky toy Wednesday. Yes, check this baby out. Look at this. Oh my goodness, did I pay that? I might have. I wanted this bugger, and probably a probably a guy that I couldn't. Uh, get him to drop his price let's just take that off just take a look i did a little research on this um really very hard to read uh but it does say dinky on there if you could catch that on the left side there on the top there very rusty i didn't want to really go and uh change the condition of this vehicle but it is a dinky toy because i finally figured out it's a dinky toy number 73 little bugger just a little bugger i love it but i need your uh help guys um a lot of you over there across the pond are a little bit more uh fluent in dinky than i am uh the only thing that i could find is um that this is a dinky diablo doublo and number 73 and there are two versions this one here with the plastic I believe these are plastic wheels on it and then there is one with black wheels something like the old uh, Lesney toys they got some traction on these here are smooth but the other one have some uh, pretty hefty uh, traction tires chunky tires on there uh, but this is just nicely, beautifully detailed uh, little truck. Uh, you can see, I like those headlights. They're just bonking right out there. Yeah, now this would be a Series 1. Very, uh, very um, small head, uh, grill on there, headlights on the grill. So that's uh, the, the way that the uh, hinges are there. That, that tells me Series 1, obviously a, a slab sides. It doesn't have the barrel rolled slide sides to it. Uh, just a beautiful model. Got, it has some very, very good details to it. Um, I believe I bought this in person. That's why I paid uh, $25 if that's, if that's really what it was, which I think it was. Um, I saw it and uh, I had to pick it up. So, my question is, on my one-off Wednesday and my uh, dinky toy uh, introduction here, <laughs> is this the first model, or is that rubber tire, the black rubber-like tire, I don't know, I, I think they're rubbery tires, is that the first edition? Is this kind of where they came back and they uh, made uh, uh, cheaper wheels, you know, these plastic gray wheels? Same kind of construction, the two rivet with the, uh, you know, um, what do they call that? Uh, bent over axle holders, very uh, simple, simplistic way of doing it. The front is a little bit different. They got a barrel uh, bent in there with then uh, the uh, green uh, bodywork, the top part, as a holder to kind of keep those. Uh, that front axle a little bit more stable there, but uh, yeah, just just a really unique. I, I don't know why I stuck that back on there. Let's take that back off. That's gaudy. That's gaudy. <laughs> Pearl. <laughs> oh, hee haw. Yeah, anybody watch uh, <laughs> Mrs. Pearl there on hee haw? She always had that price tag on her on her hat. Yeah, if you grow up watching Hee Haw, make sure you give me a thumbs up or give me a like there. <laughs> One of my uh, favorite uh, talent variety shows when I was growing up. But anyway, um, yeah, just a very unique uh, model. 
I don't have a lot of information about uh, Dinky. I'm going to be, I have more Dinky toys, obviously larger and stuff like that, a little bit more in that arena, but this is the only little bit bugger that I've got, and I've got to know uh, what year has this come from? Is this uh, 60s, late 60s, early 70s, or is the uh, black wheeled one, uh, the rubbery black, I don't know, plastic, like what's on your uh, old Lesney Matchbox, you know, like the Safari number 12 and uh, old trucks like that. Uh, all right, there we go. Which came first? <laughs> the chicken or the egg, right? All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this little video, a one of Wednesday. This is really kind of a neat little car. I'd like to have both the black wheeled and this uh, gray wheeled one. Um, but like I say, they, they usually call for a premium price, and this one did. Holy cow, hopefully I didn't pay a whole $25 for it. But if I did, I, I still think it's worth it. Yes, still think it's worth it. Yeah. Got some kind of crazy casting uh, boo-boos there, lines there, but not bad. It's, uh, you know, got the indicator and the marker lights there. Uh, yeah, very, very neat. I like how they kind of incorporated a little, uh, not authentic, but it's nice to have that little extra brace there on the front bump bumper because usually those snap off. On the dinkies, the, the larger ones, uh, which we'll talk about someday. I got a couple of those, but uh, those are, uh, yeah, those always snap off. That uh, those bumper ends always snap off. And if you're four wheeling guys, don't be tempted to just throw, a, a, you know, recovery strap over the end of that. Yeah, they'll, they'll bend. That's aluminum, folks. That's aluminum. If you don't know that, now you do. That front bumper is, is aluminum. All right, well, that's going to be it for our one of Wednesday. Let me know, please. Let me know down below. Is the black tire the early edition, and this is the uh, second edition? Uh, both are, uh, you know, dinky, um, you know, number 73. The, uh, what do they call it? Dablo. Dablo. Yeah. All right, my friends. Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day!